Hey everyone, it's Blazemods, yeah! And today I'm going to show you a new, well, this, I made an old video on this one time, uh, but this is the new way to, uh, to d install the monsters for Unreal Tournament 2004. Now first, what you're going to want to do, is you're going to want to install the Sator Monster Pack V120, and then the Innie. It's not an Audi, it's an Innie. And then, after you do that, you should have both of the rock files here. First, you want to get the Innie gonna go in here and you should have your Unreal Tournament folder open you just put the system thing in here I already have it in here so and then you do the same thing with the other one you go in here and you put all this stuff in your folder here I already have all that in there too and then now you can just get whatever monsters you want for now uh, just look around I, I, already, I got for the sake of this tutorial I got the Doom 3 monster pack 3 and the Oh, where is it? The Half-Life monsters, as well as the Alien monsters. My three favorite things. Things. Now, there's two files here. You may need, if you don't see any of the monsters in game after you after you do this tutorial, you're gonna want to download these two files and put them uh, in your folders. The Distant Booms is an audio file, so that would go into Sounds. You would just put it in here, and the aw hyphen uh, 2k4 xp is actually a particle effect so that goes into uh, I think it goes into karma data actually no it doesn't here hold on let me pull it up again real quick I just gotta make sure uh, it's UTX so like uh, gotta look around UTX you put the UTX in static meshes I believe no uh, I think you put it in textures yeah you put it in textures here okay just making sure. Now once you've got all that, uh, you will now have the... I just want to change this background, show off my backgrounds here. Perfect. Uh, my Halo Reach backgrounds. And now uh, you should just go back here, get your monsters, go into the folder, drag all the stuff in here. I already have uh, them put in here. You don't have to get the ones that I got, but for this sake I'm using those. You would put all of the folders in here, in your folder, your Unreal Tournament folder. Now yours will probably be called UT2004, but in the installer I named mine Unreal Tournament 2004, just, you know, but, you know, wherever you install it, it should just be UT2004, UT2004. Alright, and now what you're going to do is you're going to go to help in the folders, and then you, they come with readmes, and you're going to need this. You're going to go into them, going to go for the, going to go down for the monster tables, for Sator, make sure it says for Sator. You copy all of these monster tables. All of these. Alright. Now, you're going to want to go into System. Go all the way down for. Where is it? Sator Monster Pack. INI, aka the Innie. And you'll find the default monsters here, but I've already put in the Doom 3 monsters, so you can just replace all the default ones with, uh, for this, in, with the Doom ones. No. And then uh, for this, you can get the other help. Sorry, you can get the other help files and get all their other monster tables and put them under uh, these ones as well to add multiple monsters. You know, stuff like that. And then now you should be set for the game. All right now you should be ready uh, for the last step. You're gonna go to instant action. You're gonna go to invasion. One of the most important things is you go to Mutators, and then you look for Sator Monster Pack 1.20. should be down here. You just add it in here, and you're going to click it, and you click Configure Mutators down here. should pause your game for a second, but I'm in windowed mode, so it'll pause anything when it has to load. Okay, and then you're going to click Open on Sator Monster Pack. And then now here, you can choose whatever monsters you want for the waves. You can choose as many waves as you want. For simplicity purposes, I've already made a couple waves that I'll edit into the video. Uh, to show off the monsters and that's pretty much it and then now I'll cut to when we're in game and yeah that'll pretty much be it okay now we're gonna start now uh, you probably won't see ballistic weapons unless you're using ballistic weapons like me oh yeah my favorite weapon now we just wait I'm gonna put God mode on just because. Oh, as you can see, uh, there is one of the alien monsters. Get him! 
Um, as you can see, the monsters are not appearing. Um, and I, as I've already said before, if they're not, then you just gotta exit the game. Then you gotta go to. Hold on, let me switch this real quick. You gotta go to. Okay. You gotta go to your folder. And then you gotta go get the other files and put them in there. So, like. You gotta go in here. You gotta go find the other files that I showed you earlier. And that should fix everything. There it is. Go ahead and get to the textures. Put the aw hyphen 2k4 xp in here. Then we'll find distant booms. Okay, go to sounds and put in distant booms. And then we'll cut to end game, and I'll show that it works. We're in. Now that I've fixed it, you can see the enemies are spawning. At least the other ones, like the Half-Life ones and stuff like that. So yes, now you can see the Doom 3 and Half-Life 1 monsters are working since I've added those files in. along with the other ones. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Time for this epic 360 no scope to end the video. Didn't work. <laughs>